Hey guys, it is Croctober and I love fall. I love October and I am here to bring you some amazing crock pot meals this month. This week I decided to try a new pot roast recipe. I do it lots of different ways. It was called the best pot roast in the world. So we're gonna see. So I'm gonna take you along with me as we make this new recipe for a pot roast. So I'm gonna turn you around, show you how it's done. All right, we're going to be making this pot roast. I'm gonna get it ready to go in the crock pot. I'm gonna use two bags of these little potatoes. They were on sale in my store for like two for something, two for five maybe. Anyway going for convenience today. That's a lot of potatoes. Okay. Next, I'm gonna add in some baby carrots. Probably not this whole bag. I'll leave some for snacking. All right. Now I'm going to cut up an onion and some celery. Okay, so I put some chunks of celery in there. I'm keeping this pretty chunky. I like it that way. I'm gonna put my onion in like this. I'm gonna take this roast. I got this on sale. I'm gonna just kind of put that down in there. Maybe move some veggies around to get it down in there good. Okay. So I've got my roast tucked in there. Okay, all this filled up my crock pot. <laughs> uh, probably should have used less potatoes, but it's gonna be fine. It'll cook down, right? So I'm gonna add three seasoning packets. I'm gonna start with an Italian seasoning. Going to sprinkle that all over the top. I've never tried this exact recipe. When I looked it up on Pinterest, they called it the best pot roast in the world. So we're going to try and see what we think. I'm going to use a packet of ranch seasoning. Sprinkle that all over. Then we're putting in a packet of brown gravy mix. Some people use Lipton soup, onion soup. That's what I've done a lot in the past, but I'm trying this new recipe. They said this was the best pot roast in the world, so we're gonna try it. So now I'm gonna add in some water. Put in like four cups. I'm wondering if I should have put the water in first before I put in the seasonings because it washed a lot of the seasonings off the meat. Try to get some more on there. Okay, this is full. We're gonna put the lid on this and cook this on low for about eight to 10 hours. <clears throat> Okay, here it is. I added more water to it because I just wanted it to be, I wanted those potatoes to get really good and done. So this morning I added a bit more water to it. What I showed you, you can see, I haven't even like pulled the meat out to break it up. But it's just like falling apart. potatoes, carrots, it's all done. Oh, there's my washer. <laughs> all right, so let's get this in a bowl and let's give it a taste. All right, so here is my pot roast. I did sprinkle some pepper on it because that's what I like. And then once I 
cut up my potatoes. I usually put butter on them, but I'm not gonna do that for the taste test. I'm gonna start taste by tasting the meat. This was a chuck roast. It was a smaller one that I got on sale. I think it was around two pounds. I'm interested to see because I use the Italian seasoning packet, the ranch seasoning packet, and the brown gravy mix. And I usually don't do that. I usually use an onion soup mix. So I'm interested to see how the meat tastes. So let's take a bite of the meat. It's good. It's very tender. I like the seasoning. Hmm. It's good. I think that I would do the same seasonings, but also add in the onion soup mix. Mm-hmm. I think that's what I would do. It's good though. Really tender. Carrot. Mm. And some of the potato. Mm. It's really good. That is really good. Give it a try. Add in the onion soup mix. It's really good. So there you have it. Crock pot meal number two this month. And I didn't try to bake anything this time. But I think I want to try next either making homemade biscuits or homemade yeast rolls. What should I try in my next crock pot video? Let me know down below what you think I should try. And let me know if you have a pot roast recipe that you would like to share. If you're not a part of my Facebook group, I've got that link down below too. We share a lot of good ideas there. Join. I would love to have you. If you haven't already, please like, subscribe, and until next time. Bye.